on January 4th of 1880, a powerful explosion was heard throughout the Caribbean island of Dominica. What had just occurred was a powerful explosion equivalent in energy to the detonation of 30 tons of TNT. Yet, this was not a purposeful explosion by miners, nor was it an industrial accident, as instead, this blast was volcanic in origin. Due to the winds which were blowing to the west at the time, ash from the volcanic eruption began to fall on a nearly 60 square kilometers section of the island, going on to coat the landscape and half a centimeter thick of fine ash in the town of Roseau. The next time rain fell, fresh ash was rapidly swept into the Roseau River, creating a lahar which swept downstream all the way to the coastline. What had just occurred was a phreatic volcanic eruption, aka a volcanic eruption that was essentially a large steam explosion triggered by the heat of underlying magma originating from a section of the Morne Watts volcano's numerous hydrothermal features in a region which is known as the Valley of Desolation. This eruption thankfully only left behind minor damage and registered in on the 0 to 9 volcanic explosivity index as a 2. During the last 1 million years, the island of Dominica has been one of the most volcanically active regions in the entire Caribbean, as this marks the approximate time when volcanic activity dominantly in the north of the island suddenly moved towards the south of the island. This caused numerous volcanic centers to pop up, creating between 3 and 7 volcanic complexes. The number varies as some authors consider each complex to be separate, while others consider several features deemed as separate complexes by other authors to be part of a single complex. These complexes have over time created an incredibly rugged and steep landscape through the creation of numerous steep-sided lava domes, hydrothermal alteration, and associated landslides and erosion which create deep valleys. The Morniwant Volcanic Complex consists of four small stratovolcanoes which each contain lava domes along with a single large hydrothermally active region which is known as the Valley of Desolation. These vents largely follow a natural graben or fault line on the island, meaning the specific volcano exists not only due to subduction but also because it represents a path of least resistance for magma to intrude into the crustat. The Valley of Desolation contains more than a combination of a dozen fumaroles and hot springs spread across three distinct regions. The most notable of these hot springs is referred to as the Boiling Lake, which, due to a combination of changes in the amount of monthly precipitation and possible magmatic activity at depth, has its water level notably vary, with a lower level potentially but not always being a cause for concern. The present fumaroles continuously vent volcanic gases which include carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, with these gases being sourced at a magma chamber below which is probably at its shallowest point still 6 kilometers deep in the crust. The Morniwat Volcanic Complex, which covers 2.9% of the island, has been intermittently erupting for 460,000 years. These eruptions did not really follow a trend but rather occurred fairly randomly at 5 different points. Eruptions primarily consisted of the growth of grey-colored andesite lava domes. These lava domes would then intermittently produce partial collapses, leading to the generation of pyroclastic flues, which could travel up to 5 kilometers distant in what is known as a Merapi-type volcanian eruption. Some highly explosive Pelean-style eruptions also occurred, but eruptions of this magnitude have not occurred in more than 1,000 years. Here is a quick overview of when the last eruption from each of the four stratovolcanoes and group of hydrothermal vents within the Morniwat complex occurred. Overall, Morniwat has erupted 9 times in the last 11,000 years and 4 times in the last 2,000 years. Its last eruption was a very small phreatic eruption in 1997, which occurred within the Valley of Desolation. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.